Hello, this is Tom. I'm going to show you here. We resell a balancer that's a nice CNC made part. You can see it's not a cast part, it's a CNC made. It's for the Chevy 292. Very nice part. As you can notice by looking at it here, there are no balance dots on this balancer anywhere. No balance dots at all. And here's one that's set up on the crankshaft we use, we use as a mandrel. And it has no balance dots on it either, either side. So what we do is we set them up on a four-cylinder crankshaft just for fitment purposes. It's set up on this balancer. And then we come over here and we spin it. And it tells us where it needs to be balanced at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that. So we've spun this once already. So I'm going to spin it again. So this actually spins up to RPM. And then the machine measures it. So it's going to come over here and measure and tell us where and how much it's out of balance. Okay, in this case, we're only looking at the right hand side of the balancer 9.43 grams at 169 degrees, which is two holes, 0.359 deep. So we're going to turn this to that location, drill our holes in it, so I've set this scale up, it's zero at the damper, and then we've told the machine how big the damper is, we also let it know how big the drill bit is. So now I'm going to drill it. 0.359 deep times 2. It's a pretty easy operation, but if you don't have the tools, you can't do it. second hole. The machine actually tells me where to do it at. So now I'm going to re-spin it. You see my balancing holes. Now we aim to go for one gram, within one gram. Right now we're at 1.07 grams. And it wants me to drill it at 302 degrees. We'll see where this is at compared to my other holes. So it's off a little bit from my holes. My existing holes were right here in this location, so we're not straight across, but threw it off a little bit. So I'm just going to tap it. It won't even take very much. So I'm just going to give a little tickle. That's probably all it's going to take to get it out. Point two eight grams. That's what we're down to. So we're done balancing on this one. But I just wanted to show you what is involved. This is the balancers that we sell. They are a nice balancer, but 
it looks like they're not balanced because they think they're perfect with being a CNC made part. But the density of iron on one portion of it versus the other is what throws the balance off. So you can see what we've had to do to balance it out.